It's, 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 I got in a really odd, odd way, actually. Um, so I first, I obviously knew about the game of rugby and I knew that it played and I remember my dad screaming at the telly in 2003 but I had I didn't watch it and I had no interest in it whatsoever um, when I was a youngster I used to play uh, county cricket and when I finished university I thought I wanted to do some voluntary work and I thought well you know sport might be a good place to start and I thought well maybe I could coach uh, some cricket and I did and there was a ladies team there and they said oh well what you know do you want to come for training on I think it was a Friday night or something and um, one of the ladies that was there said oh have you ever have you ever thought about playing rugby I said no no and she said well we train on a Wednesday and at the time I, you know I just got out of university I had a little bit of extra pounds to shed from drinking you know far too much beer and not doing anything for the three years I was at university and I said yeah is it free she said, yeah, and then I, I turned up the next Wednesday and that was that. Never looked back. Every time we've gone up into a league and we've thought, right, we're not guaranteed to win. We're, we're going to give it our best shot, you know, and then we keep winning and then we keep winning and then we keep winning. And it's like, Christ, you know. I remember in the, in the cup last year, we were doing so well and we were unbeaten and it was the quarterfinals and I've never, I've never felt stress like it in my life. And I don't get particularly stressed out and generally quite um, quite laid back about things. But we finished the game and then we had to, because it was a cup game, you have to go to extra time. And at this point, like, I'd never seen a game in rugby that had finished on, on, a, on a draw and then had to, you know, it's, it's a bit like football and you're like, oh, you get the extra time and then you get penalties. But it's like, well, what the hell happens in rugby? And it's exactly the same thing, like who knew? So we finished on a draw. We then had, I think it was, I think it's 15 minutes. I think it was like seven minutes a side, or it might be 15 minutes a side. I, I can't, it all just, I, it, it's just a blur to me now. Finished that, still level. It's like, well, what, what happens now? Bit penalty shootout, like, you know, straight in front of the sticks and you kick it through. And we went, we went second. They went first, missed. We then went, missed. They went, missed. We went, missed. They went, missed. And our last kick, and I remember stood there on the sideline, and I was, and it, I actually, and I'm not, you know, particularly religious at all, and I'm there going, please, please, God, let it go through, and I'll convert. I'll be a nun. And I remember one of the girls next to us, that was, she was a lesbian, and she was there going, and I'll go straight, I promise. And our girl got the last kick over, and everything just went mental. But when we eventually lost to that game in Kendall, I've never slept better. <laughs> it was just such a relief to finally have, you know, have lost. And then to actually know that, you know, losing, because we'd been winning for so long and, and that sort of, well, what the hell, what's going to happen when we do actually lose? You know, the it, it, world doesn't end. You know, you carry on. And I think you probably, you probably do learn more from losing than you do from winning. And it definitely does bring you closer together because at some stages, I think we were taking winning for granted. It's like going into a game thinking, well, of course we're gonna win. We've been undefeated for 18 months, you know. Of course we're gonna win this game. And then unfortunately we've lost, we've lost one game this year. Um, and that sort of put our streak to an end. But we, you know, we came out of it saying, well, you know, you've got to stop somewhere because we've got to beat we were, you know, if we kept going, we'll never have beaten it. Now we, we think it was 23 months in the end we were undefeated in the league. Well, now we're going to start the next 24.